Welcome back, everybody, to the UTSA Roadrunners Dynasty. Big 12 play gets underway at the University of Kansas, the host of College Game Day this week. There is a lot of excitement surrounding the ascent of the Jayhawks football program, and they are hoping to rally for a big win today against our Roadrunners, who lost here a couple seasons ago. And in our two battles against the Jayhawks in this series, they have both been extremely tough games. The home team has also won both of the previous meetings, and we're hoping to end that streak today. You have to like what you're seeing from the UTSA offense this year. They are averaging over 30 points a game, and they take on a Jayhawks team that has a true freshman starter at quarterback, David Hansen. They bring back some skill players we've seen before, Daniel Highshaw, the star running back, and Will Huggins, the big tight end. Kansas has always surprised us with their offense and the variety of looks they will throw at you. It's one of the most varied offensive playbooks here in college football. And when the Jayhawks are on defense, keep an eye out for cornerback Deuce Mayberry, who has four interceptions on the year and should see a lot of Joe Wright. It should be a good one here in the Big 12 opener as we have a packed house in Lawrence, Kansas, and the Jayhawks will see the football first. Big 12 football is underway as Combs sends it deep, and this is Devin Neal out of the end zone. Across the 25, still driving his way forward beyond the 30 to set things up for David Hansen and the offense. Kansas is 3-1 on the year, and they open in this power shotgun look. David Hansen to pass and sees nothing, takes off to run and gains seven. And as the quarterback, you got to be able to move a bit in this offense. They have a ton of looks with a quarterback will. Now from the empty set, pass caught for a first down. And it's the tight end, Will Huggins, somebody we have to account for on every play. Now they go flex bone. Toss out to Devin Neal on the edge and a good run of seven. Already throwing the kitchen sink at this defense. Now they set up a little screen pass. High shot this time. He's down the sideline and taken out of bounds after a gain of 19. It's been a different formation every play. Hansen on first down gets drilled in the pocket. And this time UTSA gets aggressive and they bring Cedric Parker who's been kind of a do-it-all player for this defense. Definitely a big breakout senior. That makes it second down and 18 as this pass is knocked down at the line. And now a tough spot for Kansas, not quite in field goal range and a long way to go. Hanson buys time, pressure's there and he throws incomplete. Pressured by Preston Quinn. And here comes the punt team after a promising start to the possession. And this is going to be let go into the end zone by Washington. And now it's time for UTSA's offense. All eyes on number 18. Two touchdowns a week ago, seven on the season. Two tight ends on the field. Jacoby Criswell hands off. Vince Taylor to the outside, bottled up after a gain of four. They go three wide now. This is third down. Chriswell under pressure, got it to Keetron Jackson for a first down, it's a gain of nine. Roadrunners avoid the three and out. Now with the fullback in the game, play action, and they get the pressure on Chriswell. He is sacked by Keenan Caldwell, who is the sack leader for this defense. Second and long, quick screen, Joe Wright inside the hashes. And a pretty solid play there for 15 yards. And now a favorable third and short. Four on the rush. Wide open and caught by Chris Woods for a first down. 13 on the catch. Roadrunners go to a bunch on second down. Chris Well, quick pressure. Got it off though and it's caught by Curtis Davis. He has come up with so many big plays for this offense lately. There's a nice first down. Continuing to drive. Now a quick hitter to Joe Wright, and he gets hammered after a gain of eight. 
That brings UTSA into the red zone as they run it with Taylor. He's got blocking and he scores! 18 yard touchdown! And the Roadrunners put together a nice efficient possession to take the lead here on the road. That is how you want to start the game. Quiet the crowd, get momentum on your side. The Jayhawks will try it again now. This is Luke Grimm on the handoff, and he gets five yards to start this possession. Got to be ready for anything here from the offense. Now they go very compact, and Daniel Highshaw gets first down yardage. You can get some success against this defense on the ground, and they'll certainly try. And they do it here again. Brian Smith inside for 14 yards, making it look easy on that one. Always keeping the defense guessing. Pass caught by Huggins now for the first down. Kansas working their way into field goal range, moving the football well. Here's the empty look again on first down. I saw the motion man. And on the keeper, Hansen is taken down by Keith Cowan. He played that nicely. They'll constantly be putting stress on these linebackers. Hansen keeps again. Nice pickup though on second down to set up a makeable third down and four. And they're back in the empty look. Five wide. Blitz on the way. Pass caught by Grimm. Inside the 10. It's goal to go Kansas. As they look for the answer. And now they're back in the I formation. Hansen flips it. High shot outside. Can't get in. And that will bring us into the second quarter for second and goal. Hansen to keep it in the air. And it's incomplete through the hands of a tight end to make it third down. Again, compact, wanting to throw it. Hansen got it to Trevor Cardell. And that is a touchdown. They trusted the true freshman down around the goal line to make the play. Good response there out of the Kansas offense as this game is tied up and the Roadrunners take over. Jackson is the motion man and they hand it to him. Not much there and the ball comes out at the end. But I think his knee was down and it was. Three receivers now. Jackson slot left. It's third down. Chriswell nearly intercepted. Tried to get that to Chris Woods, and that is a three and out. As we turn things back to Kansas now, Hanson hands off. Running room, High Shaw for a gain of seven. Around their own 45-yard line. Now Hanson steps up and throws complete. That is Trevor Wilson on the catch, a gain of six. Extra man around the line here for UTSA. It's first and 10. Pressured inside, but the ball is out. Wilson with the grab. 15 more. Kansas moves the sticks. A lot of success here when they go empty and they stick with it. On the draw, Hanson up the middle. Hit down after a gain of five. Already four of five on third down. Can they make it five for six? Hansen's got time. Sideline throw. Caught by Luke Grimm for a gain of 12. That was close, but he got a foot down. The drive continues. Flip to Highshaw. Trying the outside. He breaks a tackle and is down inside the 10. Highshaw 31 yards on five carries. And now just the handoff inside to keep it simple. And they get the first down. Now looking for their second straight touchdown. Hanson hands off and Devin Neal is in for the touchdown. How about this Jayhawks offense? They go down 7-0 early, but they do not flinch. And the Jayhawks now take the lead 14-7, putting the pressure now on this UTSA offense. And they'll set up a screen pass here. Taylor outruns the lineman and does find some space on the edge for a gain of seven. They go shotgun three wide on second down. Wide open. Chris Woods has a first down and he's bumped out after a gain of eight. Here comes some pressure now. Picked up nicely. Dumped to Taylor. He shakes a defender and gets taken down inside the Kansas 40. 
Under three to go here in the first half. It's second down. Again short, it's Taylor on the catch. First down. The Roadrunners have been very pass heavy in this half and they're content to stay that way. On second down, a lot of havoc around Chriswell and he will heave it out of bounds to make it third and 10. They gotta get to the 20, two for a first down. Chriswell knocked down and incomplete. Waited a bit long on that play, pressure showed up. So here is the field goal try, the freshman kicker, Keith Combs from 49. And he pushed this one wide to the right. His second miss of the season. And Kansas now with 14 unanswered points is set to take over here before halftime. What an opportunity this is to perhaps increase this lead as they go with misdirection and all over it is the UTSA front, Andrew Ross on the stop. They go with the old Maryland formation. High shots hitting the backfield. Love that play coming from the outside there by Dorsey. Now it's third and 16. Just the screen set up and nothing's there for Kansas. And the Roadrunners spent all three timeouts on this drive, ensuring they'd have plenty of time for one more possession. Deep to Washington, this is returnable. He's got some space in Kansas territory, makes a move around the 40, and it's a very short field with plenty of time for the Roadrunners. Trying to spread this defense out, a screen for Jackson inside, and he gets hit down hard. Five yard pickup, and they go with tempo. A minute 23 to go against the Blitz, pass caught by Taylor. Not an easy one. He's been very involved here in the receiving game. First and 10, toward the end zone, Chriswell picked off at the goal line, and Kansas comes up big once again. He had him here, but he's got to put some more air under it. Get it toward the top of that A there in the end zone, and you got six points. Instead, the Jayhawks might have one more try at it here, and Hanson gets nice yardage on the keeper. They avoid a three and out. Now you've got 52 seconds to go and try to get some more points. On the outside, good catch by Luke Grimm for a gain of four. They go with more tempo, clock around 40 seconds now. It's third and one, and Grimm dropped the pass. It's incomplete. And what could have been a conversion instead turns into a fourth down and a punt. Oh, and that is not a good one. Off the side of the foot. And that will put UTSA at around their own 35 yard line. They bring Jackson around. Chriswell rolls that way. Pretty good coverage. Still extending and wide open. Jackson with the move inside the 10. Touchdown! What a special play on a Keytron Jackson. This game is tied. It didn't seem like anything was there. And then Jackson just finds some space for Chriswell to loft it to him, and he takes care of the rest. This team, off script, can be so dangerous. And they have tied this game, silenced the crowd for the second time now. And we're about to hit halftime as Hanson is sacked by Eric Crenshaw. And that'll do it. A nice spin move here on the right guard to end the first half. Every game we've played against Kansas has been an intense battle. This one appears to be more of the same. We're all tied up. Momentum changed hands a couple times in that first half. Kansas had their two unanswered touchdowns. And it seemed like after their interception, they might have a chance to really cement that first half in their favor. But UTSA capitalized big time on a three and out and a bad punt. And now we get the second half underway. Roadrunner football on the screen. Taylor bumped out after a gain of five. This is one of the most pass heavy games they've had all season. It's third down, caught by Joe Wright now, who's been very quiet today, but we know at any moment that could change. They sweep it. Taylor inside has a nice opening, and that is a gain of nine yards. 
Only four carries for Vince Taylor. They get him one more on the outside. He's got space again, down to the 30. It's a 14 yard run. Maybe they should run it more, it's working. They stay with it, a big opening once again as Taylor picks up 13 more. Getting yardage in big chunks. Hands off now going to Mills. And that'll go for three yards. A shift in focus now to the running game. It's second down and they're back to the air. Pressured inside and Chriswell eats this one. Caldwell records his second sack and I think Chriswell had Curtis Davis here. If you make that throw right off the break, you have a chance. Instead, it's third down and 15. Here's the blitz. Chriswell has to dump it. Here's Woods, and he won't get there, not even close. So this Jayhawks defense that came up big with the INT, now they forced the field goal try from 30. And this time, Combs is perfect. And how about this upset? With Cal knocking off Texas, they won't be ranked anymore after this week. And the Longhorns are now 3-3 three three on the year. It's a big shakeup for the Big 12 this season. UTSA trying to take advantage. The Jayhawks want the same thing. High Shaw on the edge gets about three. They've already run over 40 snaps in this game. And now some movement from the right tackle as a false start will back them up. That forces them into a second and 12. Off play action. The pass is intercepted and it's AJ Brown. He's got a lane, takes it inside the 15, and the Roadrunners will get a short field off the second interception this year for A.J. Brown. Just tight man-to-man -man coverage, undercutting the route. A chance to increase the lead. Here comes Wright. He gets the handoff and will walk in for the touchdown. And the Roadrunners have started this second half very quickly opening up the game's first two score advantage. What a swing this game has seen since that Keytron Jackson touchdown. Kansas down 10, there's a big pickup to Huggins. You get 25 yards there to your top receiving threat. Kansas trying to get their answer quick. On first down, this is caught by Cardell and he'll fight ahead through some contact to get 11. They got some playmakers here at tight end. Go out of the eye now, and inside running well is Daniel Hyshaw. He will gain eight. Crowd getting back into it now. They'll bring Cardell. Hansen gonna keep it. Gets a block on Hall. Hansen to the 10. Taken down after a run of 19. And Hansen was shaken up on that play. There's a new quarterback in. This is Conrad Hawley. And he'll throw it quick, but it's incomplete. Grimm had it until A.J. Brown jarred it loose. And now it's third down. And they give it to the fullback and do not fool Eric Crenshaw one bit. Fourth down. Kansas gets three back. Seven point game here in the third. Now it's a screen set up for Jackson. He shakes the first defender, finds the open field, and corkscrews his way ahead with a late flag. And that's going against Joe Wright for a clipping. Just a completely unnecessary penalty. Backing them up just a little bit here as this one's lofted to Wright and he makes the catch, heads out of bounds, and erases his mistake. First and 10. Fake to Taylor. Time for Chris Well. He lost this one complete to Johnny Jenkins. And the seldomly used fifth receiver on the depth chart has a gain of 22 yards. And now Chris Well has 26 pass attempts on the day. They will run it here on second down and to the outside with room. Mills stumbles down after a big run down inside the 15. Third quarter coming to a close. Off play action. Chriswell doesn't like it. Now he just heaves it over to Joe Wright and he makes the catch, touchdown! Are you kidding me with that throw? Chriswell's breaking all the rules on this play. 
he's going to throw this across the field around half the width of the entire field and puts enough air under it so Wright is the only one who has a chance. Two incredible plays outside the pocket today. And that's the difference. 31 to 17. And Hansen back in the game. He's taken down. Nothing there. That's Dorsey. Kansas really needs this pickup. Third and seven. Hansen is drilled by Zmolik. And they couldn't get the screen set up like they wanted. They're down 14. And they go three and out. This is trouble for Kansas. Back deep, Washington. And he muffed it! But it's picked up by Stokes, who saves the possession. And Kansas really could have used that. But now they have to get the ball back for the offense. And they set up a little swing screen. And Taylor doesn't have any room. It's a minimal gain. Third down. Kansas needs this. Dialing up a zone blitz, only three rush, and the pass is cut for a first. It's Chris Woods, 18 yards. Kansas running out of chances. First and 10, Taylor on the give. This time is bottled up, not much there. Mills back in on second down, they'll toss it to him, and he's drilled down behind the line. It's a loss of two. Third down again, Kansas looking for that stop. As a screen set up again for Taylor. And he spins away from the first defender, but that is all. And Kansas will get the ball back. And they're going to need a pretty special final four minutes. They need two touchdowns. Hansen takes off, but lost the ball. And the Roadrunners have recovered. On one play, Kansas turns the ball over, and that might do it in this game. Patrick Jenkins is the one who knocked the football out. And it's a short field for UTSA. They keep it on the ground with Taylor inside the five, but can't break the plane. And it's goal to go. From the one, it's a fake to Taylor. And Chris Wells got Chuck Bell wide open for the touchdown that should seal it. Third touchdown pass of the day for Jacoby Chriswell, giving him 16 on the year. And that makes it a 21-point game. It's been a dominant second half for UTSA. And Kansas just has not been able to generate anywhere near the offense they showed early in the game. There is a sack for Austin Woods. 2.38 left to go. They bring pressure, and that ball's knocked down by A.J. Brown. Fourth and 10, Kansas. They've got to get to the 32 here for a first, and we'll check it down. Huggins breaks a tackle, make it two. Down the sideline for 27 yards. But there has just been no rhythm to the offense here in the second half. And I feel like the play calling overall has been far less creative. We saw Flexbone, empty, three wide shotgun in the first half. Just everything in the book. And I feel like it's been a little more standard. And the running game just hasn't been as effective. Fourth and eight now. Second fourth down try of the drive. That's open for Cardell, and he gets the conversion now, so we're still not done. Under a minute to go, though. So, the rest of this is just the formality at this point. To the end zone, now it's picked off by Vandermeulen. That is backup safety, Timothy Vandermeulen, with his first interception, giving the ball back to UTSA. Second team offense is in. He'll get a few snaps in here. It's Deshaun Washington with a good run for about 10 yards. Wouldn't mind getting him in for a few snaps on offense, but hasn't uh, always been easy, but he breaks one off here on second down. There's 20. 19 seconds to go, and now Trey Irvine, he's looking to throw it for the first time. And he will, on the move, get it to Curtis Davis. And now they're going to let the clock run out. And the Roadrunners stay perfect on the year and are now 1-0 in the Big 12. They go on the road and score a big win against Kansas. 
The offense still looks really good, and the defense stepped it up nicely in that second half. We're still making some incredible plays outside the pocket, two of them today. Joe Wright scores two more times, and this ended up being one of our more pass-heavy days. It just kind of went that way. I didn't really realize it until about halftime that we weren't running the football much, but we were throwing it to the running backs and still keeping them involved. Coming into this game, Taylor and Mills combined for seven catches. In this game, they combined for eight. So it was a serious shift for the offense, but I've wanted to use the running backs more as a receiver just in general. So we'll see if it continues, but today just felt like the right option. The passing game moved efficiently throughout the game, so we stuck with it. Kansas had us just running around, scrambling to find solutions early on, but in the second half, it was a very different story. Really happy with this win, thought we played just a really good, complete game. Joe Wright now has nine total touchdowns on the season, which is a career high already five games into the year, but he is not yet in the Heisman watch. What is it going to take for him to get the recognition he deserves? The team is at least getting recognition as we are now in the top 10 for the first time in this series. It's a 5-0 start, and it seems like a down year for the Big 12. There just aren't that many teams ranked now, and the only other unbeaten is K-State, who will be our next opponent. Before we end today, I wanted to make sure we got in another recruiting update, and we do have our first commit of the recruiting season. And that is going to be center Garrett Jarwin, the number 22 center in the country, a three-star out of Texas. He's a good pass blocker who needs to get better at his run blocking. And here are the other targets. It's still a battle for Naeem Hogan. We're trying, but right now in third place. For speedy receiver Omar Harris, we are in first place. That battle is going very well. And Freddie Wallace, this one's basically a done deal. And I think Wallace could be an early contributor with that 80 power moves in 76 block shed. Going down the list to John Pochick. This one's a pretty tight battle, but he's a really good prospect, so we're going to stay very aggressive. We have wide receiver Aaron Leroy. We're in first place. Six foot four, 96 speed. Might be a little raw right now, but a very intriguing receiver nonetheless. And then the powerful running back out of Bloomington, Minnesota, Sincere Rhymes. We are not winning this one right now, and we're going to have basically a Hail Mary attempt here of a visit coming up to try and stay in this, but I don't think we're going to be all that successful. It's been really difficult to find the power running backs in these classes that are worth pursuing and can play early. And Rhymes was one player who was just so good we had to try, but I'm not sure it's going to work out. One position I'm still scouting more is at linebacker because, again, we have three seniors in this class. And James Johnson, the junior college player, could be somebody we pursue aggressively soon, potentially as a starter for next season. But I think so far we're in good shape to have a pretty decent class and most of these battles are tight or in our favor. But as we are welcomed to the top 10, we return home to take on K-State. 5-0 versus 5-0, Sincere Rhymes is going to be in the Alamo Dome as we try to stay unbeaten and show that we are the top team in the Big 12 this season. I like our chances in this game. Our schedule is looking very favorable. We'll see if we can just stay on track. We got to win these home games, though, that's for sure. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the recruits in this recruiting class. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great day.